What's going on, Cyclone Fanatics? Welcome to Mr. B Clothing here at 1995 Northwest 86th Street, gorgeous Clive, Iowa. Tim Sitzman joins me today. Talk a little Cyclone football. I couldn't help but notice, Tim, you got a lot of the a lot of the winter stuff out here at Mr. B. And yet, uh, I, I was a part. I was partial to the sunglasses you got on hand. Yeah, out there. we we got some, uh, you know. Uh military official sunglasses and they've actually it's kind of a strange time to bring them in but the sun's still bright yeah. out there well, you still need them the snow with snow yeah. and uh, it's a great christmas gift i always have to you know we talk about the beautiful uh, clive iowa that we happen to be uh, associated with here at mr b but i want to talk a little bit a shout out for our women's department that's doing a huge job and Lori and Terry and Susie, who's, who reside there and do a great job on a daily basis, are really knocking it out of the park. Good. And uh, all you cycling fanatics that are on the, the female side, we always think the male side is what, what really drives football, but there's a lot of good uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, women out there who enjoy the game of football and, and cycling sports. And you ought to come in and check out the uh, Mr. B's women's side. It's a, it's a terrific. We added shoes this uh, wow. this fall. So good. It's a, a it, big display up there, too. Great commercial for the women's department. Let's talk Cyclone football. Well, that's good because, you know, Christmas shopping around Christmas, the corner, you so. know what? It'll be here before we know it. It's the, it's the middle of October already. So Thanksgiving's you, basically here. You know, it's, <laughs> it's football weather today, Chris. It is, um, and we got a big game coming up, Tim. Um, oh, man. It's Texas A&M team's really good. They're really good, and the Cyclones are railing there. Well, we talked before we went on camera. Desperation mode has set in. Do, are, have you given up on the team? Not at all. Not at all. And you, you know, this is the time of year. Every team, no matter who they are, they're they're a little beat up. They're, they're, they're good players are getting, you know, knees are tough, mm -hmm. and you, know, you got arms that are sore. And, and this is when you got to dig in. This is when you have to have depth. And we all know that Paul's building a program, and this is this is part of a real good building year. We may not get the record we, we thought about, but I think it's going to be pretty close. I still uh, think we're going to be 500 by the end of the year. I'm still living on that. We're going to upset somebody soon. Really interesting post, one of our posters. I wish I could remember it off the top of my head so I could give him proper credit, but you can go onto our football forum to, to, to look at this. Right. And he, he matched up Paul Rhodes' first 30 games as Iowa State's head coach, and he matched it up to Dan McCarney, you know, to all the all the former Cyclone coaches. Right. Then he did it to Kirk Ferentz and Hayden Fry at the University of Iowa. Rhodes is better than all of them Absolutely. in his first 30 games. That you got to keep that in perspective, folks. There's no question. And this is a building program. We're a little nicked this uh, after this last week, and and uh, but I think we're three and three, and I think we can end the season. I, you know, I even said seven and five if if you go back and watch some mm -hmm. of, some of our posts. But I, I think seven and five may be difficult. We missed a, a win or two that a, a one win I thought we should have had. But you know I think six and six, seven and five is still in perspective. And you know these other teams are beat up, folks. You got to remember that they're beat up too. And we need a break here. Or there, it seems like all the breaks have been going the other way. I recorded the podcast with my good friend Brent Bloom earlier this week. He made a good point when it comes to Texas A and M. Maybe they might not be real interested in this game. Now, I, I, I'm not saying that they're going to show up and uh, be half asleep, but the Mike Sherman teams, that's what I know Mike Sherman for right. over the years, where they underachieve. And I could see them, you know, lollygag their way into Ames on Saturday. Even if that happens with Iowa State's situation, I'm not sure if it would be enough for Iowa State right. to come. Iowa State's going to have to take care of themselves. Right. But I think you, you might – According Brent's point is well taken. I think this could be an opportunity to sneak up on somebody. I, you know, I, I don't think this is going to be a blowout by any means. I think, uh, you know, uh, Texas A&M is going to move the ball. I think that we, if we don't m kill ourselves, if we don't shoot ourselves in the foot like it seems to be happening with penalties and, and turnovers, that we'll score. Mm -hmm. I, I think that we'll score. Uh, their defense seems to be a little on the weak side as far as Big 8 defense. Big eight, big twelve. Defense. Well, we know what you mean. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm old school here, guys. Kicking it old school. Kicking old school. Uh, big twelve defense is is about, but I I really think it's going to be a tough a tough victory for the Iowa State Cyclones. They can't make any mistakes, and they got to be on their game. Absolutely, Tim. I'm heading down to Kansas City. Going to do a little basketball it's media got, day. Isn't that something? It's coming already, and, and I'm excited here. about it. What an exciting time for Cyclone fans. Uh, I think there, it's going to be a powerful year. I, I think so, too. We're, we'll talk about a lot about that here as the weeks get roll right. on. Uh, it's basketball season, but we, we talked about Thanksgiving. Basketball season will be here even before that. It's 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 crazy to think about, but it's good, though. Everybody's really excited, and um, it should be a fun year. You know, two weeks ago it was 85 degrees out here, and we thought, what the heck are we ever going to get cold? Now it's 40, and, you know, basketball's upon us. we we got a great football season, and we got half this football season still left. Mm -hmm. right? And hopefully... 
hopefully a, a trip in December somewhere. Hey, but, we, we hope so. Yeah, we really do. But I think this basketball team, that we're going to see four or five players that we haven't seen play on that basketball court, and it should be real exciting. And we'll get more into that as we get into the season. But I'm looking forward to it. We are too. Uh, Tim, thanks for everything today. We appreciate it. And, and I'm, I'm not going to be here on our next post. I think Austin's going to fill in for me, but uh, I'll be here in a week uh, or two. I all guess right. two weeks we'll all get right. together. And uh, uh, keep, keep rooting for those clones. I think we can get, get seven and five. Okay, let's Tim, get, let's keep a, let's keep our spirits up. And let's be good fans. Tim's still he's still poking for that seven and five record. We let's, hope let's so. get it. Then we're we're playing in December. Stop on in, tell Tim and the guys hello here at 1995 Northwest 86th Street, Clive's Mr. B's Clothing. Always keeping it real here at CycloneFanatic.com. Take care, everybody.